Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey everyone, this is Zach with the Iowa Plainsman Outdoors. Um, right now, we are about to go head out to the river, go pound some poles in. It is the Friday of Memorial Day weekend. If you watched my video, 205 pounds of catfish in a weekend from last year, you know Memorial Day weekend, we did pretty good. Um, real quick, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with a little bell down below. Um, that way, you can stay up to date with all the action that we got going on. We're gonna go ahead and get out there right now. We caught a 28 pounder out of last year. Two years ago, we caught a 48 pounder out of this very hole. There we go. It's been almost 365 days since the last time I ran lines. And I mean, it, it's, I've missed it so bad. You know, last year we had a drought where uh, it wound up, so we couldn't even hardly get into the river. I mean, the drought was really, really bad. It's one of the worst I remember. So it's just nice to be back. We've had a lot of rain in May and a lot of bugs, but we're getting poles pounded in right now, and we've got five, six, something like that pounded in. So uh, it's good. I got help so we can we're, It's Friday night right now. We're running them Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So we got plenty of time to go and catch some catfish. We got most of the spots we wanted to get. Um, we got several days to run lines so we can move them if we don't like the spots. We're gonna come out tomorrow morning and we're gonna see if we had a night bite tonight and uh, see what we got hanging. We're gonna get these last couple of poles pounded in and we're gonna hit it tomorrow morning and run those lines. Well, first check. Uh, this is one that we caught a 45 pounder on last year as well as a 12 pounder. We'll see if we got anything on it. Ain't nothing, clean. That right there, is the flathead bait. It was like a pound and a half goldfish. All right, that is one check. We were cleaned. Uh, only 14 more to check. Check number two. Oh, dude, nothing on here. Got cleaned again. That was the third check. That was the third cleaned hook. Well, actually, there was no hook left on that one. We're thinking, I'm thinking it's a snapping turtle. This pole that we're coming up on right now is pole number four. It looks bent and it looks like it's got some bob to it. Oh, you get it. Here we go. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. yeah look at that. Oh, shit. Well, that's the first Diddy Pole catfish of the year on check number four. Um, little, it was 3.38 pounds. Got to use my new uh, Whisker Seeker tackle. Fancy $40 scale. Uh, but yeah, 3.38 pounds. Check number five. Coming right up. Well, that's real irritating. That is. That is, uh, something took the hook right off. I think it's a snapping turtle. If I actually catch a snapping turtle, I'm going to take him home and eat him. Here's the next one. We'll see what we got. Shit. Get up here. Oh, here we go. Get him. Get him. Come on. Come on. This one here was 5.74 pounds. Dude, this river's a thing of beauty, man. Straight down in the water. Buckled a little bit. Let's see. What do you find out? Oh, you want to get it? Yeah. Oh, no. oh, clean. Checked eight poles, only two fish so far, but uh, we're going to go check some more. That's our big Friday. Nothing. 
hook clean. That right there is big Magnum flathead bait. I mean, that is a meal. Nope, fish on. Nice. Woo. Look at that. Hell yeah. I said he. Looks like about a, like a three pound. Yeah, three four pound. Yeah. We got three channels so far. We checked eleven poles. Uh, we're about to check number twelve. If you don't get gray, you better hurry up. Yeah. It's a flatty. Small one. Little flatty. First flat. First flat of the year, baby. Well, that's it for this check. We got uh, three channel caps and one flathead. So, you know, that's all right. It's not, it's not great, but there might be more of a day bite anyway. The moon is pretty bright last night. So we'll see what we got when we come out this evening. All right, we are back for check number two. Uh, check one, we caught a few. Not real hot, but we caught, we caught a few. Um, so we're gonna go see if what was biting throughout the day. All right, this is set number two. Nope, still kicking. Third check, got movement on this pole. I'm gonna guess it's a little channel. We have fish on. Yep, channel. Well, that, uh, that is another channel. It's 4.62, right, Andy? 4.62 pounds is that channel cat. And uh, that was fourth out of fourth check. Second fish, fourth check. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice, buddy. Good. Yep. Three, three and a half. That channel was 3.92 pounds, so we got four so far. That's not too bad. Here's our next set. It's a little bit of a boat ride to get here. We're going to see if we got this lively bait. I think we do. Or a fish. Just a bullhead and his wife. That pole ain't moving. Got a pole? Ain't moving. There are too many bugs right here. Every bug in America is here. Well, that's it for the checks for tonight. Uh, we got five channels. Five channel cat. We'll be back out uh, tomorrow morning as well to do another set. But it seems like maybe the day bite's a little bit better. But we'll see. All right, uh, today is Sunday morning. Um, Andy and I are gonna go run lines right now. Um, we went last night and we caught five. So no, we haven't caught anything spectacular yet, but it has been fun, it's always fun. We got uh, nine total fish so far this weekend, and we got, I think we got four runs left. So still got plenty of time. Uh, we're gonna head out there right now. It's supposed to be really hot today, so we're trying to beat the heat a little bit. Brain hook. Oh boy, that's, that's definitely got nothing on it. Well, something up in here is robbing the hook itself. We think it's a snapping turtle. We're just pulling this pole right here because it's getting it's been pitting off twice. And we got another spot in mind we're gonna move this to. This hook here, that's a 10 knot reaper hook. So if there's a snapping turtle that is taking these hooks. We've had three of them gone, so he's paying a price. We've got two off of this one, haven't we? Yeah. We've got two. One in the morning, one in the evening. Yeah. We, so both times, this this hole has been good, but it's pretty still right now. And a clean hook. Go figure. So we have another one where the hook has gone. This is the fourth one of the weekend. All of them in this river. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know if it's Snapping Turtle. I guess maybe it could be Gar. I don't know what's going on, but it's not making me a happy camper. All right, this one's got a fish on him, buddy. Nice. Good size one. Channel cat, buddy. We're actually moving two of our poles. Uh, one of them kept getting eaten by a snapping turtle or a gar or something that was biting the whole thing off. And uh, the other one was just kind of far down. We want to put some more poles in this bigger river here. So we want to try and catch big fish. So we just moved to this spot here. We like the overhanging willow and there's slow water right along the bank here. All right, next set. This eddy looked really promising too. So we backed out to come back in to reset the pole and uh, hit a branch, knocked our light off. So I guess we're gonna see how tough those lights are. Well, that one looks awfully still too. This, uh, the overnight bite from this morning check has been really slow. Last check's got a fish on it. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, nice. Flatty. That's a nice flat. Good thing we have to scale. Nope, you got him. I got him. <clears throat> right. Nice. So this flatty here was 16.6 uh, .6 pounds, and uh, he took the hook really deep. The threshold for the boat, if it's over 20, we throw him back. He's under 20, and we're gonna have a big fish fry, plus he took, he was just gushing blood, he took the hook real deep. So we're gonna take him home, make sure he goes to good use. Uh, but that's it, that's it for this run. Only caught two, but definitely the best fish of the day. All right, it is dark, but that's because we are going on a midnight the line check. We had some problems getting the, the poles, the hooks being cleaned earlier uh, when we were checking after the night run. So we're gonna go check them in the middle of the night to see if you know maybe the fish have been getting on and then getting off. So we're it's right about midnight, maybe a little after right now. We're gonna go check the poles. I see him bobbing. Cool. Here we fish go. on. I bet you it's a channel. Yeah, I bet he is channel. Woo! Yeah, big channel. Yep, good size channel. Nice. All right, this one was six and a half pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him back in the river and get this pole rebated. There we go. Five point seven four. All right. Here you go. I told you he was going back in. All right, so that was the second fish and only three checks. So that's a pretty good start. That one was 5.74, wasn't it, Andy? 5.74 is the weight on that? Yeah. So 5.74. Average channel size has been decent. We got a lot more checks to go. Oh, maybe it's this tree. No, it's not the tree doing that. He's wrapped around the tree. Yeah, he is. You want the help on this one, Zach. Uh-oh. Fish wrapped around a tree. Well, that's interesting. Okay, there. Now, now, it's, now you're fighting him. Come on. That was hit me in the face. Another channel. 4.98. Wow. That's bigger than I guessed. Yep. Okay. All right. So something is just annihilating these hooks off the pole. I don't know. I mean, this is the fifth one we've lost this weekend. It might be Gar. It might be Snapping Turtle. But... That's getting, with teeth. that's getting annoying. Okay, you're done. Ain't nothing on this guy. Woo! Oh, fighter. Channel. 
wishful thinking. I got about to take it back. Yes, you do. Alright, hold still, fish, for the sake of both of us here. I feel like you score bonus points when you have to unravel a line with a fish on it from a hook. From a, hey, that's not a bad one. That's you a pretty big size guy. A big head. It's fish number four for the night. 5.6. All right, 5.6 pound channel. That's the fourth one of the evening. And we're gonna put him back in the river. All right, buddy. We'll make babies. We'll make babies. Something. Uh, <clears throat> this one, bullhead or wily man, they'll uh, this one had a big bullhead on it. This is a good catfish hole. He wound up wrapping himself around a root as they tend to do. Uh, and it was really like I just I pulled it till the line broke. So this one actually has so little line left on it, we have to pull this pole. Okay, well, this might be the first fish out of this hole. Oh, oh I can see it right there. there. There's a little fishy, not a big one. Maybe I lied. Yeah, ah. thank you. Yeah, I thought it was small too. Right? Woo! He's buffing. Yeah, he's Holy cow! Channel. Oh, Channel. not huge. Unhappy. Channel. Unhappy about the situation. 5.9 pounds. 5.9 in your Zach's places. Yeah, six. Alrighty, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Well, uh, that was the last check. I think we got six fish tonight, so it wasn't boring run. Uh, we're gonna have at least one more check in us this weekend. Um, I think it puts us at 17 fish on the weekend. Um, it's just been a nice night. It's been not very buggy, not that humid. Earlier today, we had record highs. It got up to 99 actual temperature in May, which would be hot for July. But it's just been a really nice night. You know, it's full moon, so it's kind of well lit. It's not very humid. Um, it's been a nice night, good run. Got fish on. Oh. Not a bad one. Wider than that. Well, little camp. Little camp. Oh, that one was uh, 3.2 pounds. We're going to put it back in the water. Point seven eight. Yeah. Saving all kinds of wildlife tonight. This is the same hole we got our 17 pound flathead out of. And that pole right there, last one of the run, is moving. Oh, well, it's different to though. Yeah. Good channel, though. Nice, nice, yeah. Good channel. There we go. Three. That put us in even twenty for the weekend. Five point two two. Way off. Right. But you're. I mean, if he's if he's narrow, narrow channel. Puts on some weight. Puts on some weight. It's gonna be a big fish. So we're gonna put this one back. Still got a lot of fight left. 
Well, that was the last poll that we just pulled for the weekend. That puts us in even 20 fish. Um, not quite as hot as the last couple of Memorial Days, but still a lot of fun. Um, rescuing a baby deer was weird. Like, ever done that before? Obviously, I'm a deer hunter. That's kind of weird, but it wasn't that little uh, little deer's time. So, um, that was interesting. But hey, thanks for checking out another episode of Iowa Plains and Outdoors. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to keep up with all the action.